there. Raza playing the Peach. Kira Flax playing the Pit, which now he's gone to Rob as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, he, he's always been a, a Rob and Pit main since Brawl, I believe. Um, but yeah, definitely a lot. Most characters in this game got buffed, so just everyone's like pretty happy except the Bayo mains. Yeah, and we're going straight <laughs> into it. We're actually seeing. Uh, yeah. Oh, J Dragon. J Dragon, okay, cool, yeah. yeah. Got to commentate a set from him last week. Uh, let's see, he's got the Marth out in the field this time. Yeah, the double sword character matchup here. <laughs> Some say, but Hip, I mean, the thing about Olimar that I feel like is just so scary is he tacks on damage like almost no other character yeah, can. I mean, it's, it's Peach and Olimar that you, you get yeah. one opening and all of a sudden you're at 80%. You yeah, know? And, and I mean, he got all that percentage simply by latching two Pikmin onto J Dragon. You can see J Dragon's not really doing much about it. Usually you want to swing a uh, hitbox to uh, get rid of the Pikmin off of you because you don't want to take all that percent for free. J Dragon already dropping that first stock. Uh, quick edge guard there from I'm hit, and he's only sitting at 40%. Yeah, I mean, he, he gets the purple on deck. He recognizes, you know, his Pikmin order, which I think is you know, one of the things that for playing the character for yeah. so long, that's what makes him really good. Oh, for he's, sure. He's got this way unlocked, so he goes right off stage with the purple, gets one swing, and it's just gone. Yeah, for sure. And for the uninitiated, it might look like uh, all of our players are kind of just like you know, pressing the side B button, tossing a lot of like projectiles, but. It is a very like difficult task at hand. You actually constantly have to be aware of your Pikmin lineup and your order, uh, and knowing which ones kill, which ones combo, and stuff like that. Obviously, with all of them having different properties. J Dragon already tacking on about 106% onto uh, I'm Hip. Let's see if he can find the stock. He finds the Dancing Blade, sending him off stage, and the backer is going to be enough to do it off the stage spike. Really nice, pulling himself into this game, finding some life. He is at 135%, so he's got to play it really careful. Yeah, and Hip's got a blue on deck. Doesn't matter there, but you know, with, at that percentage, if he gets a grab with the blue, he can just throw him right up the top. Yeah, up throw is going to be the uh, kill throw for him. There's a down throw from I'm Hip, and he gets a forward air. And he's already tacked on 50% since Shady came down, you know, a couple seconds ago, even. Yeah. Yeah, J J JD definitely uh, looking like he may not have too much Olimar experience. And, and that's a, a really a big killer. It's like, you know, we were talking about Incineroar earlier, where it's like, if you don't know the Incineroar matchup, you're, you're, or if you just play too scared of Incineroar, like, that's going to be a killer. In this game, it's like, in this matchup, it's like, well, if you don't know how to deal with Pikmin, that's it, you're going to have a bad time. And Hip's got the purple on deck, uh, so he's got a big threat pocket right now as long as he's got that one the next one and yeah he doesn't even need the purple one just connects off of the uh, the yellow and throws him right off the top yeah absolutely calling out J dragon with the jump meeting him in the sky hitting the up air and cleaning out that game number one so let's see if we can get what you were talking about a little bit earlier uh, if we uh, I'm hips gonna stick to the Olimar or if he feels confident enough to move on to one of his secondaries I would love to see the wolf honestly because that's like his his newest toy that I've seen, so I want to see a little bit more of that. And I always like to see more wolf for that. Uh, you I are like in to luck, steal things. my friend. I like Here to steal we go. Things. Oh baby, let's go. And this is a bit of a swordy matchup, so to speak, because wolf, you know, a lot of people kind of say he's he's like a sword character. Mostly the fact that his forward air has like a pretty like good amount of range. But other than that, I mean, he's, he's just a he plays like a spacey. So we got a kind of kind of a melee esque battle, if you will. Yeah, I mean the classic, or even uh, shall we speak of the the game that will not be named Project kind of M. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah, we can talk about it. Yeah, I mean, and again, Hip Hip is a player also. I mean, Olimar fits his style really well, but he just attacks on damage so quickly. Again, JD's already up to you know 80 percent. We're only 25 seconds in. Yeah. See, the, the main thing right here is going to be if, uh, oh man, he cannot jump in like that. You got to be a little bit more careful about your spacing. He's going to eat the forward smash, and I'm hit only at 32%. He's going to sit back, content with just shooting these blasters, holding down the stage. Yeah, I mean, he can just kind of sit back, wait, give him a, he comes to me. Oh no, he didn't know, he didn't have a jump. And I'm hit, barely taking any percent on that stock. Uh, J Dragon already down his last life. Uh oh. All right. If directional air off, off stage. We'll take it, man. J Dragon. That, that could be all he needs. Down throw. He finds the up air. Yeah, I mean, Marth is a very scary character. I actually played a good number of uh, friendlies against him as well in the tournament. It's like, you connect that tipper yeah. on a forward smash. I mean, 
you can kill a lot of characters very early on. I mean, one of my friends plays Samus and played against him uh, as well. He's dying at 55% of the hit For sure. And, like, I, I, it's interesting that, like, I, I like that we're seeing Mark right now because typically we see a lot of Lucina, you know, that she's the more consistent one. You don't really need the space for the tipper. But recently, MKLeo did tweet that he's been labbing more of uh, of Marth. And he says, yo, his character's actually kind of nice. And it even got me thinking, because I also played like Lucina as my secondary. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to mess around with Marth. I didn't really even give him a chance. I just went for the like quick and easy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's like it's a very precise character. So I think over time, it'll evolve sure. a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting to see what J-Dragon can get out of this here, too. Not doing too bad. I'm hip, uh, obviously playing a uh, much slower neutral right there. I like the attempt. Uh, if I'm hip, had initiated the wolf flash, I may have actually intercepted and uh, been really crucial for him. One thing in this matchup that um, that is going to be super crucial for J Dragon that he hasn't really done too much, and I saw the same thing last week. Oh my oh, God! The him. call out. Catching him, jumping, and just hitting him with the Wolf Flash and neutral. I'm him taking it with a 2-0. But uh, yeah, you can see J Dragon is actually ready. Like he, he wants to learn how to get better at this game, asking I'm hip for, for some tips. And if he happens to watch this VOD,